Yo, what's going on? More busy. What's up? And we are with today. We are with who? Who are with? Cosma. We are with Cosma today. Uh, tell these people a little, a little bit about yourself. We we'll jump into this interview, brother. Uh, well, not too much to say, you know. Um, uh, Cos. Well, Cosmin, but short cause. Um, I'm Tony. I'm Romanian and I live in London trying to make a career out of rap, apparently. <laughs> Straight up, man. It's one of them things, isn't yeah. it? It's one of them things. Yeah, man. Yeah, fuck. I love this anyway, so that's what I'm doing, right? Yeah, straight, man. That's what, what you do, what you do. What else do you do for, like, you, you, you know, I mean, right? I mean, university is not much to be honest. I've been to two unis. And it's just not for me, man. I don't know. I haven't been to like uni playing music, but so far I've done photography and business, and none of them really fuck with me. So kind of dropped out of both. And yeah. right now, I I'm a bartender for a living, and I um, yeah, I'm trying to do a music career on the side. Okay, respect, man. We all gotta have a side hustle. All right, then let's go straight into it. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright, so what age did you merge into the music, like, or music industry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, honestly, about a year and a half ago, so when I was 19, that's that's when I started the whole thing. Okay, okay, so where were you when you decided to become, like, a rapper or an artist, you know what I'm saying? Can you remember where you uh, were, what the situation was? Yeah, I, I think I would say I was at work, just nothing to do, and I just started writing some rhymes and shit. Uh, when I got home, I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to make uh, a, a song. So I just got myself a beat, spent like two hours writing the song and everything. And then when I when I read it back to me, I actually liked it. So I continued doing it. So I think it was just when I was at home one one day when I came from work. No respect. Okay. Okay. So like, who was the most inspirational or like most listened to artist when you was growing up? I mean, when I was growing up, you know, I think I was just fucking up with like, with like everybody that was popping back like 10, 12 years ago. So like, yeah. Rihanna, Chris Brown, Wayne, Jay Z, all those artists. Like, I really like rap since I was a kid, but I started to actually take this more seriously about you know, half a year. So, yeah. Okay. No, I but inspiration for my music, uh, I would say is maybe like you know Logic, J Cole, maybe Joyner Lucas, that that type of vibe. Some good, some good artists there, bro. That's a good, that's a good, it's good inspiration to grab from those guys because they're serious artists. You know what I'm saying? Like they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. No, I can respect. Yeah, that. obviously, I don't, I don't fuck with no like <laughs> trappers, like no mumble rappers. Like they do what they do, but I, I'm not taking nothing from them. Maybe yeah, just the beat. No, I get you. I get you completely. Today's music is pretty fucking messed up, do you know what I'm saying? There is some good artists out there, but a lot of it is just trash, bro, real shit. Yeah, mostly it's pushed up by trash, to be honest. Nice beat, trash lyrics, or trash That's everything. It. <laughs> That's it, pretty much. So what are you most passionate about in music? Uh, I would say it's like both, you know, like learning how to make beats and writing lyrics. But right now, I still need to work on my part. Like, to make actual real good beats. Yeah. So right now I do obviously just my lyrics, but I wouldn't mind, you know, learning about both styles, to be honest. Plus if you do your own beats, it's easier, you know, to get your shit done faster, quicker out quicker out there. So yeah. Yeah, no, I get you, of course. Of course. You can get you can you can get the sound that you want and you know what I'm saying. You don't have to search for ages for different sounds as if you can get it exactly. exactly right. yeah, yeah. Once you know what you want and you know how to do it, it's much easier than to ask for somebody else to make it for you. Because people cannot picture what you picture in your head. Exactly. It's a very different yeah, no, I get you completely. It's a whole different thing. I respect. Okay, okay. okay. So like what so what kind of music do you make in regards to rap music? Is it emotional stuff? Is it kind of 
You know, is it like uh, a big grandma kind of vibe? You know, is it murderer? <laughs> is it happy? Is nah, it... it's it's I don't know. I mean, right now it's more like real life shit that just been going on lately okay. in my life. Like I don't really get much inspiration from like nothing else apart from what's going on in my life and shit. Yeah, like what I think or overthink. So. It's mostly how I'm feeling, you know, like if I'm having a really nice day or like a pretty nice week and I feel like writing stuff, then probably there's going to be a more happy song, you know, better, better vibe or whatever. But if I'm feeling down or whatever, I'm just going to get a vibe and just fucking try and kill it. <laughs> uh, yeah, like that's that's what I like to do. Like sometimes it's, it's weird to say, but I like being sad sometimes because like you get like a really nice beat and then like I let it off on that beat and then I feel much better. So. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's a way to vent, isn't it? It's like it's like talking. It is a way to vent. It's like yeah. talking to someone else. Yeah. Like, I get you, man, completely. That's real. I don't like I don't like talking about like, uh, oh my god, man, it's like this, it's like that. I don't, I don't want to like, get into much like emotional deep stuff. So instead of doing that, I just get a beat and I I I, I put it as a song and then it gets to the whole world, I guess. But uh, I guess I'd rather do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you. I feel you completely. I get you. I get you. I respect mine definitely. It's like the same way with myself with beats and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just however I'm feeling, it's the same with you and the style of your writing, it's just chips and changes depending on the mood. No, I get it, man. It's good. It's good. So what kind of rituals and routines do you have before you head to the studio or write in general? Um uh, I mean, I don't really have any anything special. Uh, maybe just before I start, you know, recording, I just really take a big sip of water so I don't sound dry. Yeah. But I guess nothing, nothing apart from that. I don't do no crazy shit or whatever. Okay, no respect, no respect. Okay. Um, so are you like, were you self-taught? Did you teach yourself how to write bars and everything in your flow styles? Or did someone teach yeah. you? Or did they help you at all or anything like that? No, not really, no. Uh, as I said, I started doing this about you know, half ago and I didn't even like think thought through about this. It just happened. So I haven't really, really thought about anything in the industry um, or anything about writing. I just started writing my own stuff, find the correct rhyme and correct flow. And then, yeah, if I liked it, I did it. If not, not then that, that was yeah. it, really. Okay, no respect, no respect. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, are there any resources that you use to help you like boost your music or get it out there? Do you know what I'm saying in front of people? Um, I, I mean, if there's actually anything that helped me, it was maybe just my computer and my my phone. It's like that's where I keep all my uh, all my beats, all my lyrics, everything you know that I work on. It's on those two devices. Yeah, and I, I guess that's that's the thing that actually helped me the most with my career. There's not really anything else. Well, obviously, the equipment I used to record, but <laughs> that's self-explanatory. Yeah, no, I get you. Of course, no, of course. This is there's definitely some essential things that you've got to have as a rapper, don't you think? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I'm still learning because, as I said, I haven't really learned. Uh, I, I haven't really knew much about all the ropes and the insides of the industry before I came in. I just came in and then I was like, oh, oh just, you know, picked everything yeah. up. So that was it. Okay, no respect. Sometimes you just got to jump head first and just see what happens, man. Sink or yeah. swim, you know what I'm saying? Sink or swim. Yeah. Okay, so what would you say is your best musical quality? <clears throat> well, I mean, since writing is all I do at the moment, I would say is writing. But yeah. I don't really have anything special to say the least. Like I'm not thinking myself as to have like something that really, really stands out in me. I'm not saying I'm not well doing something good, but right now, unless somebody points it out to me or if it's really obvious, I don't spend time thinking of that. I just do my shit and I just hope I do the best way I can do it and that's it. Okay, no respect. I get that completely. So what do you wish you knew now when you started? Uh, a, a bit of everything really. that's yeah. that's that's as simple as I can put it because I didn't as I said I didn't know much I just went head on straight on and then I ended up being like oh I don't know this I don't know that I'm gonna have to learn about this and so on and so forth and 
I just picked it up on the way, and I wish I actually knew some basics before I went in. Okay, no, fair enough. I get you, I get you. So, like, is there anything that you, like, you know now that you didn't know a year and a half ago in regards to, like, maybe writing, flow styles? I don't like, know um, I don't know what, I mean, I've learned, you know, like, how much you would usually charge for, like, an hour of recording or... I've learned about you know all the software you could use to make beats. Yeah, I've learned I've learned more about the equipment they use to record and like you know just bits of that and okay. actually you know it really helps. Yeah, no, of course, definitely, definitely, especially when if you want to start up your own little home studio as well one day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, need to, you get you need to get the hang of the of of everything, the equipment, the hardware, and the software. To be honest. Yeah, man, definitely. No, I completely agree with you on that one. So how do you feel about your music uh, in general? And how do you feel about people's engagement <coughs> towards your music? Uh, I would say my music is all right. You know, like for, for somebody that started recently, I would say my music is actually good. And yeah. there's always room for improvement as in everything. Definitely. But so far, so good. And uh, people's engagement with my stuff has been really positive, you know, from everybody. Like everybody's been saying, I like your stuff, continue to do what you do. And that keeps me going, obviously. So <laughs> props to everybody. That's it, man. Respect, no respect. So do you have any projects going on at the moment? And if you, if you do, you know, like, how do you feel that they're going? Oh, Sammy. Yeah, it's all good. We're back. Can you hear me? Yeah, we're back, man. Okay, cool. So I lost my uh, So regarding my projects, um, I have one song that I finished writing a few weeks ago and I'm waiting to go in the studio and record it. But that depends because my sound engineer is away in Japan right now coming whenever oh, nice. the fuck. And I also have two more beats uh, I got recently and I'm going to, you know, start finishing all the songs for the beats that I had. So I have about three songs that need to come out, but wow. they're going to come, you know, steadily one by one and probably say by hopefully by the end of the year, I'll release another two and then we'll go on from there. Okay. No respect, man. Respect. That's pretty much it, you know, bro. That's pretty much it. Yeah, no, man. Oh, yeah, man. thanks for the time, man. And no, I actually, good. actually enjoyed your questions. To be honest, thank <clears> you for that. You know, taking the time and actually going a bit into all this whole thing and making it happen. Cheers for that. You know. Nah, you're all good, bro. Don't worry about it at all. Don't worry about it at all. I'm sure we're gonna see some new stuff from you coming soon. I'm looking forward to some of this work you got coming at the end of the year as well. It's gonna be sick. Yeah. Yeah, all, all all right now that stops me is, is my studio engineer, like my sound engineer coming coming back from Japan. Like that's it. If he's back, my shit, I can finish writing my stuff in like a few days, and then I have three brand new songs going in the studio, yeah, yeah. coming fresh, putting all of them maybe once a month or so. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see when he comes back and all that shit. Anyway, hey, no respect. Fair play, man. I hope he gets back soon so you can get to work. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it must be like when you say man. You just can't fucking crack on with shit. Real talk. Real talk, man. Thank you for your time, you know, and uh, it's all good, thanks man. for everything. Take it's care. It's all good. Take care. Much love, man. Much love. Peace. Peace, peace. peace.